this happened because I was taking nausea pills that made me constipated. Uh -huh. And it said on the bottle, may cause constipation. Right. But everything says that. Yeah. So, but I was taking it every I mean, you're the queen hours. of macaroni and cheese. Yeah. You can handle some may cause constipation. I was taking it every four hours on the dot because I was sick all the time. And I did not poop for like a week and a half. Okay, so finally, I, sh I was like sick. My belly was like six months pregnant big, full of poop. Okay? It was not baby. It was just food just sitting there. So finally, I was like, Mom, you got to take me to the hospital. Because I had tried stool softeners, and I had tried laxatives, and I had tried prune juice, and salt water, and everything. I had tried all this stuff, and nothing was making me Did you eat strawberries? Hey, everything. I was afraid to eat because I didn't have anywhere else to keep the food. So then, that day, I had taken six colases. That's a lot. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that still didn't work. So I went to the hospital, and I was like, I told him what was wrong, and the lady came in and was like, we're going to give you an enema. And I was like, okay. You know, I was really excited because I was going to be able to poop. So they come in there. Yeah, she is. She's recording me. So they come in there, and they stick the thermometer up my butt to make sure I didn't have hemorrhoids or it wasn't bleeding or something. So that was all well and good. I was like, okay, that wasn't that bad. You know, it was just a little uncomfortable. And then they came in with an IV pole and an IV bag. Uh huh. Like this big, full of what looked like somebody else's poop. That's what it looked like. And she was like, this is called the Brown Bomber. This will How big was out. it again? I'm like, this, this big. big. Okay. This is not I an exaggeration. missed it. No, it was okay. It was like this big. And they didn't tell me the directions. They didn't tell me what I was supposed to do. She was just like, okay, just hold it in for as long as you can. What do you mean just hold it in for? And she just let the thing go. And it was just like. <gasps> it was just. It was just, and I could feel it, and it was just going, oh, God. It felt like it, it was in your throat? It felt like it was everywhere in my body, and she was like, you're doing so good, you're doing so good. <laughs> and I really just wanted to backhand the piss out of her. But I was trying to hold it in. The only way I knew how to hold something in. <laughs> and then she was like, okay, well, we're going to give you this potty chair so that you don't have to walk all the way to the bathroom. Like I was going to make it all the way to the bathroom <laughs> anyways. So she gave me this party chair, and she was like, okay, just lay here for as long as you can, and the longer you wait, the better it'll be. Well, as soon as she got up, I had a poop. Oh, my God. I promise you that was the worst poop I've ever had in my entire Did it life. Did hurt? Yes. Was it big and hard? Yes. And it was runny and disgusting at the same time, <laughs> because all that stuff. And then I had eaten a bag of Doritos before, because I was pregnant, and I'm starving, and sitting in the waiting room, and I got real, real hot and real, real hot. And they had me facing nothing, no trash can, no nothing. The only thing that was in front of me was my patient belongings bag. So I was ripping clothes out because I had to throw up. Nobody told me I was going to throw up. <laughs> Throwing up, pooping. God, two potty chairs. <laughs> two. <laughs> Jack's in the waiting room. I was like, oh, my God, don't let him come in <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst. It's funny now. It is. It was pitiful. But it, that was the worst thing I've ever experienced in my life. Don't ever do it. Ever. Let me see your belly. <laughs> yeah, that's not poop. That's baby. <laughs> poop, the poop belly was like out to here. Uh. <laughs>